welcome. Uh, we are having another wonderful time in the presence of the Lord. Uh, those who are tuning, watching us uh, uh, online, the Lord bless you. Today, uh, you know, especially we are in this month of October, and you know if in the month of October there's something that is uh, consistent with this month, it is the month of mental health, <laughs> mental health awareness. So it is very wonderful that this day, even today, we'll be talking about things that we'll be mostly, uh, talking of mostly uh, doing with our mental health. It will be something that I'm sure will help a lot of people because our mental health is very important. Uh, I want us to check Romans 12. So this is where we shall be getting uh, the start of our sermon today. And I thank God this is the theme of this ministry. Uh, Romans chapter 12. If you're there, uh, please. Uh, I know there are people who are maybe watching us uh, from their workplace. Uh, you can write it down if you don't have your Bible. Up we can open. So I'm going to read Romans chapter 12 from verse 1. And this is usually even the theme verse of this ministry. So you come in on a canal and it's So I'm going to read Romans <coughs> chapter 12. But I'm starting from verse 1. <coughs> it says, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. I urge you. You see, <clears throat> when you see somebody urging it because they know it is not simple. They know it is not easy. It is not easy to offer your body as a living sacrifice. And like I always like to say, the problem with a living sacrifice is that it can crawl off the altar whenever the fire is too hot. The living sacrifice just crawls off the altar. And that's why in the Old Testament people used to sacrifice dead animals. You, you, you come and cut the goats or you slaughter the cow, or whatever it is, you put it on the altar. You see, the, the, the goat cannot start running <laughs> uh, of the it cannot start running out of the fire or run out of the boiling soup because it is dead. You have slaughtered it already. You see why it is easy for an animal? Because an animal is slaughtered, so an animal cannot run. But imagine a human being. You cannot sacrifice a man at here. I want to slaughter you and then I offer you. That's the challenge with a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice will try to run away. And so today, having said that, we are going to be focusing so much on the health of the mind because this is Mental Health Awareness Month and I know many people don't take this seriously but it affects a lot of people. It has started by saying we should offer our bodies as a living sacrifice. I mean Romans 12. Now, I want you to see verse 2. It's good, it's even usually here on our, on our banner over here. Verse 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Why are we supposed to be transformed by the renewing of our mind? Listen to the last part. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. I want to repeat the reason why we should be renewed in our mind. It says, then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. Now, if there's one question I find common in almost all the universities I go to, almost all the high schools I go to, and even believers I interact with, I'm sure I need about what we experience. If there's one question people always want to know, how can I know my purpose? How can I know what God's will is for me? People even go to Cataloni to fast, to know if this is my husband or my, or my wife. I met a lady somewhere in Mombasa Road who was telling me she fasted for 21 days because she wanted to know if that guy was her husband. Nikamuliza, and did it work after 21 days? I can imagine after 21 days, I still wasn't sure if that guy was my husband. Now, let me tell you, I gave her a very simple answer. The Bible says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. You cannot be able to know what God's will is for your life if, number one, verse one, if your body is not a living sacrifice. There are people who are having sex left, right, and center, and then they go to Catalonia to ask God for your husband. Let me tell you, you will not get an answer because your body is not even a living sacrifice. There are men who are into masturbation and they are busy asking God for their will. Hey God, is this the lady? You cannot know that lady is your wife or not because 
you are already a sacrifice that has run away from the altar. Umetoroka. You are not on the altar and you want... Uh, there's a sermon I was preaching here and you remember he said you must learn how to burn without feeling the heat. You must learn how to burn. Learn how to just be a, a, a living sacrifice. Burn there. Chomeka. So number one thing that will help you to know the will of God, living sacrifice. Living sacrifice in Amalisha when you come on the wango. So it means it is no longer you. It is God, Christ living in me. That's what Paul is saying. It is no longer I that live, but Christ in me. That means he is a father. Anna right, you say, eh, by the way, I'm a penanga chipona kuku. Kama God, I'm a kata, I'm a logu chipona kuku. I was watching a certain pastor who was saying, there's a day prepared a very sumptuous meal. And then after me malzaku prepare kikai viki dogo watching TV, he felt an unction in his spirit to fast. And then alikuwa anambia Mungu, "Ai, sisi sisi hata fasting mtu anafanga kujipanga, you know, at least nijue kama ni kesho." Sasa mimi after nimeshapika. And he was saying but because he had to obey God. Imagine he give the neighbor that food. That is the level of living sacrifice where you have to reach where you can you may have prepared something so well. But in Afkamari, God and Afkamari, the neighbors need it more. I'm not saying you do that all the time. That is just on special cases when the Lord speaks to you. Because now when you become a living sacrifice, in Afkamari, you are dead. God is the one who has done this to me. And you are the one who is not checking after yourself. I told you even if you are fasting, check, check, check your body. Uh, we had a very sad story. Let me not say that organization, but it's an organization we used to go with them for camps as uh, our university. The the people could not believe the news when this mother passed on, uh, because this woman was always into fast after fast after fast after fast, and then I think she was also not minding what she was eating. So eventually, they found there's a problem with the stomachs. You know, stomach cancer, man, you can't remember. There was a problem with the lining of the stomach. So, finally, she died. Okay, I believe she went to heaven. I truly believe that because that woman was a sweet woman. Everyone used to love her in that organization. I remember, in fact, when news of her death was published on the WhatsApp, everyone was putting her as a status. People were saying, because they were wishing one of the politicians could have died instead of her. But this is what I was telling them. Sometimes when you're not sensitive, when you're not renewing your mind, you will not hear what God's will is for you. I want to counter that story with another story. There's another man of God, okay? Same scenario. God had told him, this is a true story. God told this man of God for the next three years as he breakfast and lunch. And this man of God was saying that he did that religiously. He did that faithfully. Until one time he felt an unction in his body. I think it was like after one and a half years. And as he felt an unction. It's like God was telling him whatever. A purpose was to be accomplished because you are going to be a great man in the nation. I was going to use you into all the nations of the world. Now you are ready. That yoke has been broken. Eat. But I say because of real excitement, spiritual zeal. Yeah, kukula yeah, yende yeah, na fast. Because it's religious. It's a Pharisee. Yeah, I have to do it when you are going to say I'm a And then you were saying he became so sick. He was admitted in Kenya. And the doctors prescribed for him the foods he needed to heal, to eat, to heal the walls of the stomach and all that. And eventually, akakwapua. You see what he was saying, that he almost missed it because of not being sensitive. It is good, because when you read the word of God, mm -hmm. you will notice there's a place, David inquired of the Lord. Kambiwa pasiu, you shall overtake. And if you read the same Bible, there's a place David inquired, akambiwa this time, don't pursue. The same God. You might think God is confused. Why is God not being consistent? <clears throat> spiritual foolishness. Spiritual foolishness is not being flexible to the voice of God. That is spiritual foolishness. When you are not aware that God can tell you this month to fast for five days. And then next month in the month of November, from the one back at 30. 
Na usikule tu kula kuku nyama. Eh, yani that is the god we serve. There's a time we can tell you this is the time to eat because why? I don't know everything I'm saying is scriptural. Siongei tu my thoughts. Let me prove to you. Elijah aliambiwa jambo wake up and eat because the journey ahead of you is long. And what did Elijah have to do? He had to wake up and eat the bread when he mepikwa kutoka heaven's bakery. It had all the ingredients, all the nutrients because God knew this guy is going to need energy for the next 40 days. You are going to be in a 40 days fast. So I have to prepare you. Sometimes when you want to do something it is good to count the cost. Check your body, check the way you've been eating, don't just do it. <clears throat> so we have to be living sacrifices. We have to live that so that we can know God's perfect will for us. Verse 2 as I say do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Hapa ndio kwa kizungu mkuti. Renewing of your mind. While you were doing prayers I started by saying love. Love that is the first ingredient you will need for your mind to be renewed. I will tell you the truth. You need love. You need to understand that God loves you and you need to accept it. Remember we are talking about stuff about mental health. This is mental health awareness month and I'm sure most of you are wondering sasa love in Indiana When you don't have the idea or when you are not sure that you are loved, let me tell you nothing that people do will have an impact on you uh, that much because you already feel worthless. I want to give you a case in point in the book of John. You remember the story of the woman she the Bible says she used to go and fetch water at a time when other women were busy cooking for their husbands, washing their children, yeye ndo akacha anaenda kuchota maji. Do you know why? Because there's something about shame. When your mind has not been renewed, when you have not allowed love to take over your body. Number one, you see the problem is you always do things off course, off the time. Because this was not the time for fetching water. And I want you to ask yourself, do you have anything in your life that you are doing off course? It is an indicator a pointer kuna section ijahil like i'll give you a good example I'll, let me tell you a good example i remember there was a time uh, i think this was like 8 years ago i used to do my cleanings at night mimi watu wamelala hiyo ndo roho ya kuosha vyombo vimefunga saa hizo usipinga na kuna kupigana na masufuria maka there's one time my friend asked me eh kiwo tunakusikia na masufuria sana nani shida kuna kwa nini we time watu wanalala mimi hiyo ndo nilikuwa napata meeting ya kuosha masufuria do you know why? Because I was not okay. Unapata I was discouraged. So during the day we lala and go oh God you are not fair God where where and all that. And then sasa usiku ndo nakumka aya vyombo vijosho. Nyuma ya. So you see you're doing things of course because you're not healthy. Let me tell you when you're not healthy you will not do things at the time when they are required. I even had a certain pastor saying there are women who are not healthy. So hata wale da kununua sukuma saa zile sukuma zote fresh zisha nimvio. Ala kule tia sukuma za yelo kwa nyumba. Unamza baby inja kula gani umenipikia. Anilipata mama moga memaliza. And do you know what he said? This woman was in the house the entire time. Siyati ya metoka kazi ya likuwa mishikana. The, the girl was just in the house. But because they have the spirit of shame, they can never do things at the right time. Ukiwa na spirit ya shame, hata mandazi unenda kuni masazile zilisha poa. Mtuwa mandazi ya liamuka five, akapika mandazi zo kila sa kumi na mbili, wewe saa tano ndo unajistress. Tena mm-hmm. kanunue mandazi. Unapata crust. <laughs> Unauma mandazi na flow na crisps because you are broken. You are not doing things at the right time. Mimi saa nane, ndo nilikuwa napata time masufuria na maliza nafua nguo naenda kuanika nguo saa tisa usiku kama mchavi. Saa tisa was huko juu kwa bango na nika nguo mpaka na mshua mtu akwana niona na shindo. Yaani wewe umeona tu saa tisa ngianike nguo. Because when you are like this woman, when other people are fetching water, you don't have the strength to fetch it. You are embarrassed. Unasema acha nilale nitachota hii maji saa nane. So check how many things are you doing of course. Mental health awareness. Check your mind. Are you waking up when other people are waking up? I tell people this. If you're waking up at 11, I have no problem with you. Bora ikue edo dilala very late because you know you also need to understand yourself. There are people uh, who work very well late nights and there are people who are early birds. We cannot all be the same. 
I want to tell you there are people if you wake them up at five, they are just like zombies. Una mwangalisha na kwambia eh na hivyo mnasema hata ajisikia anasema nini. But there's somebody at 5 a.m. they are very fresh. And I would encourage you to be in this category. Even if you're a night person, I would encourage you because hakuna mali bible inasema Psalms David anasema late in the night I will worship you. Anasema early in the morning. Ukiangalia most scriptural references God is worshiped in the morning. Why? Before the day breaks you command it. Sasa wewe utakomanda siku saa 5 usiku saa zile mishaisha. Watu watu washafula kazi wa account profit na loss. You are waking up at 12, you are going to Gikomba, you are buying something from the fourth buyer. Because you know the first buyer leaves at 6. The second buyer can know at 6:30. The third buyer may know at 7. Wewe umemkasa nini unaenda Gikomba? Unauziwa kitu ya 100, unauziwa na 700. Do you know why? Because you are the fourth buyer, you are lazy, umeamka late. You go to Gikomba at 6 and see how people are buying the first bed. Na na nota na tatibu. The early bird catches the worm. It is the same with spiritual work. There are people who rose up early in the morning. They walichukua na bei ya kwanza. Wewe umeamka saa 5. I want to command you. Jua hata ishawaka mpaka ishakuwa moto. Watu wakoamka saa 11 kusema ala work but wanishasema. Sasa so, utaikansolaje saa 5? Na walisema 5. Wewe saa 5 ndo nataka ku cancel. I cancel every principal. Principal ya tazme lazima kuangalia. Unasema <laughs> eh hey, kijana saa hiyo ndo na mko na tu cancel. Sisi tulisha decree at 5 huku tukashautiwa la wewe unataka ku cancel saa hii. So living sacrifice is not easy because you have to wake up you have to command things you have to pray even at a time when you are feeling i don't have that strength to pray you push so you see i started by that story of a lady and i'm sure this one will help so many people that instead of going and dying of thirst and hunger huko katoloni after all those days and not getting your answer it's good sacrifice but i will tell you one thing If number one is not catered for, we cannot come and help in number two. And number one is, nimesema verse one, nimesema therefore I urge brothers and sisters in view of God's mercy, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. Those who are watching me, are you offering yourself as a living sacrifice? If you are not, it's hard. It's hard to know what God's will is for you. You will keep asking haki kebo misi juu na kufanya nini. It is because your body is not a living sacrifice. And I want to explain this. You see when your body is not a living sacrifice and you're busy sleeping around and doing all these things watching graphic images on the phone you know your soul with that person becomes one If you have slept with one person according to you you melala na mtu mmoja but this person has slept with two other people those two other people have slept with four other people those four other people have slept with 16 other people so when you do calculation you find that this one person you've slept with is carrying 48 people inside them So according to spiritual law not science because according to science it is 1 plus 1 ni 2 mko wawili but if we could put on spiritual glasses you will realize that in that room you are around 56 people because the person you've slept with has slept with 40 people behind them and those 40 people maybe each person has slept with one 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 that's already 80 so aren't you to picture this umeingia <coughs> supermarket okay i'm trying to build up a case Do you know why unaingia supermarket and you spend one hour na unatoka tu na kibiriti? Yaani umetembea all the aisle. Ah, sitaki mafuta kupika. Ah, sitaki mafuta ya chapo. Ah, sitaki sabuni. You are wasting one complete hour and then there's someone else very focused. Unaona ameandika I'm going to supermarket to buy. Ako mpaka na list. Cooking oil 2 kg, sugar 1 kg. So, one bar. Unaona anaingia cooking oil, sugar 1 kg ako kwa kashia. They are done. 15 minutes they are gone. Wewe well, one hour umetoka tu na kibiriti. Do you know why? Because you are 58 people inside you. Kuna mwenye anasema tu buy chips. Hapana tu nunue nyama. Na wewe unasema tu buy sabuni. According to the supermarket we can only see one person. Si tunakuwa na wewe peke yako on the aisle. But according to spiritual law, mko tu 56 hapo mna consult. And so that's why it becomes even hard to make a decision. You see that's why you say it is it will become difficult for you to know and test God's will. There are people if you ask them simple questions, even like what will you wear for the event tomorrow? Una notice mako amekuwa na stress. Anakwambia hii hii haki sikua nimefikiria kai Santa va nini? Una namba katurudi anakuwa stress. Do you know why? Because there are so many people inside. 
ukimuuliza jina yake ni venye tu haizi sema but anataka mm. kusema my name is Lijo for we are many kama ule mtu wa Gadirin so imagine you carry 6000 principalities inside you you will find that even when you wake up in the morning hata ku decide mtaenda kukunywa chai wapi na kwa shida unaona unasema ama ni kule magazi ama chapati ama pancake ama bisco one hour you are deliberating and that's why remember niambia kuna story ya a lady used to come to this fellowship and kwani ndio kuna hiyo problem anamka 6 amepapa sana kuja hot sasa sita inafika tu akifikiria chenye tabada vitu atafanya kwa nyumba mpaka anaenda pa cha kuja i was telling her you have so many principalities you have things inside you that are limiting you so today as we are focusing on mental health mm-hmm. please understand that you are not supposed to conform to the pattern of this world you are supposed to be renewed you are supposed to be transformed and it all happens in the mind and remember i like saying this story of this fish these two fish that were put in an aquarium and then they put a glass wall between them and every time they could try to swim towards each other they could hit the glass so hard and the scientists noticed something that after 21 days you know according to science they say it takes 21 days to form a habit fanya mm-hmm. kitu consistently for 21 days it will become a habit they noticed they removed the glass wall quietly when the fish were just resting and then they observed and they noticed the fish could swim very fast and then the moment it reaches in that glass wall it just does a u-turn because now the barrier is in the mind imeshazoeshwa that hapa ukikuja unagonga kichwa so fish imeshamwa eh hey, i no longer want that thing and if you see god giving me this word maybe it's because he knows today in hot you people are feeling that there was no megonga sana na god anasema this week just like they were praying is the week he has removed that barrier this is the week utashanga eh hey, hapa naenda na gonga kichwa leo sijagonga you will go and you'll be surprised for the first time na boy kujia kujia chukua kula eh nimezoea kugonga kichwa hadi hadi now there's a sermon i preached and i say the problem your mental health is when you are so used to something for example when you are so used to luck the challenge na kwanga when abundance comes many people no longer know what to do i remember hearing Joyce Meyer said she was so used to abuse that when she got a man who was not abusing her she didn't know what to do with them sasa anaanza kutafuta hata shida ah wewe wewe kwenda because you see she doesn't know how to act with somebody who is normal and that's the challenge when you've been abused for so long hitting your head like this fish it have come early when you have abundance of joy and that's why you find people who are in the ghetto when you take them to a high life they don't know how to behave i was watching the testimony of this pastor who was saying he was taken to a buffet yeah i'm so a lack so when you fell over buffet he took his plate akaeka mchele mlima akaeka ugali mlima he doesn't care for looking at him akaeka chapati mlima akaeka nyama and then anasema unajua most buffets na kwanga na ice cream hapo kando akachukua mpaka ice cream akaeka juu ya mchele so ice cream na melt na mwagiki hivi kwa chapati and then the person who had called him yakamwambia e bule tena sahani na kurebisha akachukua sahani akaeka kando and then this person took a new plate akaambia you pass the busa sasa kuja akamwekea mchele kidogo nyama kidogo kuna watu wenye usuru pasta imekasirika ah we hiyo Mr Shiba host akamwekea kila kitu kidogo alafu akamwambia unajua nini he told the person this food is not going anywhere this food is ours if you finish this you will come back they can say oh why can't come back as oh. the name of the mind because his mind was still in korogosho where there are five brothers so ugali keke leo kwa meza ni all your marks go whish, whish, whish. Kidogo kidogo unasoma tu made in China. Sahani hapo chini. So ukizuba you don't get ugali. And you know that people are coming from that background. So telling such a person akule pole pole haizi because they grew up and that's how say understand even the lady you will date, the man you will date. Ask yourself what is their background? Do you know there are ladies who are brought up with five brothers. She was the only girl. I'm finishing with this. So this lady grew up in a home of men wanume kupigana tu na ngumi so she became a tomboy sasa wewe umemwoa you expecting someone soft she doesn't know how to be soft because she grew up with five brothers who wanapigana na ngumi mkienda ta date mkiongea hivi kidogo ashakweka ngumi yake yake wala kwanza mfari na shikuni sichana shida yake mingine because you don't understand that there are people who their mind has not been conformed you marry a guy who was brought up in a family of five sisters 
kitu kidogo analialia tu nishindu mwanaume umeenda date tunamwambia eh hey, baby jana nilionao mambo mengine hapo mwanaume ashaanza kulia eh kiyo msichana yetu unashindwa huu ni mama nimeoa hapa so you need to understand that renewing of your mind what are the issues that you have not died to because if you are not a living sacrifice holy and pleasing to god let me not lie to you you will not be able to test what god's will is and you see like the last part it says then you will be able to test and approve i've said the best for us i'm finishing with this it says you will be able to test and approve what god's will is can i explain that being able to test and approve what god's will is it means this when you are dating even someone you can be able to test and approve and say this one is my wife this one is my husband why because the bible says every animal that adam named that became its name hakuna mali god alikuja akakata akasema hapana this one naita itwa ngombe itaitwa mbuzi whatever adam named it that was its name if you are a man who's a living sacrifice walking with god you can have someone when you mebariki roho yako and you can name them as your wife and heaven will stamp and certify it and back you up if you are a man who is blessed you can claim something and you certify it in the spiritual realm and heaven in a back in the name of jesus so guys thank you for that i hope you have been blessed those who have not given their lives to the lord i would just want to make this prayer together with you just repeat after me say lord jesus come into my life I make you my Lord and Savior. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I am now born again in Jesus name. Thank you. If you made that prayer please call us. Uh, there's a number there. Uh, just call uh, say I want to somebody to help me to grow because there are people who get saved then after that they don't even know where to go. They don't even know who to talk to. Uh, we can always talk to you and guide you. Uh, there's also a number there paid in. Please for those who want to be generous to support the ministry do so. The Lord bless you. Thank you for watching. Interact with us on Facebook, Instagram, whichever social media platform you are active. Also interact with me, Kelvin Obonyo. The Lord bless you. Till next time. Bye.